The Dark Ages, abridged version. The Dark Ages didn't happen. It was a neologism invented after the fact by a guy named Petrarch in the 14th century because he was ass hurt that his family died in the Black Plague. There you go. <laughs> Long version. Okay, so the Dark Ages is basically a filler term that people who don't know anything about European history use to describe how everything was really awful in the medieval period between the fall of the Roman Empire and the Renaissance. Now, I don't need to explain how retarded this is out of hand, but I'll do it anyway. Basically, in the 14th century, right, the 1300s, this fuckstick named Frank Petrarch showed up and started postulating that basically ever since Rome fell, everything had been awful, everything was shit, Bear in mind, when Petrarch wrote this dumb shit, he wasn't saying, oh no, things were bad between 450 AD and 82080. Oh no, no, no. He was saying things were bad from the nanosecond Rome fell until now. They're still bad. Right? The Dark Ages meme is cancerous. It's so retarded that it frankly deserves scorn out of hand. This is the idea that all of Europe was plunged into cartoonish primitive barbarism by the light of Rome being extinguished. You know, the church burned all the books, all civilization collapsed, all the libraries were burned, everything became awful. Okay, Th there's a problem here, though. The problem is that it didn't fucking happen. I, 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 I mean, think about this. I shouldn't even have to say this. How many libraries were there in 5th century Britain to be burned? How many libraries were there in Gaul or in Germany or in fucking, you know, what did they call Hungary back then? What is now Hungary? How many libraries were there in 5th century Hungary for Attila the Hun to burn down? Spoilers, it's between zero and none. Germany was still a nightmare forest of untamed woods and bearded savages with clubs and pig iron axes killing each other over sheep. Gaul was still a wild frontier full of barbaric Belgian brutes bashing each other's brains out with bludgeons over binary border disputes. At this point in history, North Africa was twice as developed as most of Europe, and Italy and Greece were the only places where the average citizen could tell an alpha from an amphora full of lark tongues and aspic. There was no literacy to be lost in 90% of Europe, and there was no culture to be destroyed in 90% of Europe. The majority of the continent was a cesspool of cannibalistic degenerates who were too busy sacrificing children to their heathen gods to develop the wheel. Now here's the thing. During what was originally the Dark Ages, most of Europe went from being a degenerate shithole to functional agrarian states with functioning governments, monarchies, duchies, farmers, houses. Literacy might not have been universal, but it was sure as shit more common in the 8th century Germany than in the time of fucking Tiberius. Here's the thing. The Petrarch narrative was wrong. The Dark Ages as they were originally defined did not fucking happen. Between the Dark Ages, right, as they were conceived initially, Charlemagne's scribes invented the concept of spaces between words. That hadn't existed yet in Latin alphabet languages. So what happens? Well, the Dark Ages shrink as historians realize that their creationist-tier bullshit narrative no longer makes sense. So they squeeze it back from the 14th century to the 12th century, then the 10th century, then the 8th century, then the 7th century. It's going to keep shrinking over time because every few years we find another volume in a peat bog that disproves the retarded claim that all progress was halted and that all knowledge was destroyed during this mythical Dark Ages narrative. Now here's the key. People died in what is now called the Dark Ages. Barbarians from the north invaded, there were wars, there was chaos. Yeah, sometimes things were lost. But this is no fucking different from any other time in fucking history. The only reason you've even heard of this idiotic meme of an era is that it's become a 700-year-old tradition to pretend that the fall of Rome caused some kind of nuclear knowledge explosion that destroyed every written word in the rest of the world. It didn't. Churches preserved historical records. Libraries preserved historical records. Classical literature survived. You know how we know that? Because we still have it today. There was no fucking holocaust of information here, people. An empire that was really cool, the Romans, admittedly, collapsed. That was it. The rest of the world kept on developing. Literally every single place in Europe, aside from Italy, and not even all of Italy, advanced during the so-called Dark Ages. P 
please stop repeating this meme. It's embarrassing. And it's it's really just re- just depressing, right? Ed- Ed- Edward Gibbon was a fucking retard. Jared Diamond is a hack. Nobody who uses the term Dark Ages seriously should be taken seriously in any sort of historical discussion. My advice, use the term migration period. At least that's fucking accurate. Christ, Jimmy signing out.